Hey home bakers, it's Jack here at bakewithjack.co.uk, popping in to wish you a happy Easter. Roll that theme tune. Hello to you and welcome back to the Bake With Jack YouTube channel where I make videos to help you make bread. And there is and always has been a hot cross bun recipe stashed away in the archives on the Bake With Jack blog from way back in the olden days, like 2017. I still get messages about that recipe. In fact, I got one yesterday on Instagram telling me just how much you love it. And in that recipe, I used fresh zest over candied peel because my past slightly more naive self considered candied peel to be a little bit old school. In fact, I think I may have had the cheek to call it old hat. <laughs> oh dear. However you feel about candied peel, using fresh zest means we get the juice for free, which I rather cleverly turned into a sticky fruit glaze for the top. And I stand by that being wicked delicious. But the point I'm trying to make is that people change and recipes evolve just like we do. So if you're embarking upon a hot cross bun journey this year, this week, I wanna share a few tips to help you make them truly your own and draw your attention to a few things we've touched upon in the past that might help you out this time of year. Writing a recipe for a blog is tricky because anybody can walk in off the street and give that recipe a go with zero previous experience of me. And so the moisture level was written on a slightly more crowd-pleasing side, making a dough that you would probably expect as a beginner beginning. If it was me, I'd up that milk by 20 grams or so. I'd have a trickier time with a wetter dough, sure but it will make it easier for me to incorporate all that juicy fruit and make for a softer bun with a better rise. 200 grams of fruit for half a kilo of flour is a good guide here in terms of quantity. Ideally, as much fruit as you can get in without any negative effects on the bun itself. The other day I tried some fancy colorful raisins because I'm big time now, I'm classy. Yeah. If you'd like to go off piste here and add something like apricots or figs or prunes or something off the wall, then go for it. Chocolate, it's your bun. I don't judge. Even replacing fresh zest with candied peel is acceptable nowadays. Ah, how I've changed. Just try to stick to similar quantities and you'll be fine. A longer rest means better flavor and better structure. We all know that. Right? The recipe says 60 to 90 minutes at room temperature, but try two or two and a half hours. You can even pop it in the fridge overnight if you like to completely transform the flavor and the texture, but always remember it's coming up from cold. So it's gonna take ages to puff the second time round. Either way, it gives you a nice opportunity to implement the next point I'm about to make. Just like when we make our sourdough, folding during the first rest develops better structure within our dough and it's no different here. The principle is the same, making our final buns puff up better and as an added bonus, it also helps us distribute the fruit a little more evenly. Halfway through your now extended first rest, pop the dough out of the bowl upside down. Press it, fold it back up into a tight ball again, roll it smooth side up and put it back in the bowl for the remainder of its resting time. That simple step, combined with extending the first rest, will make a massive difference to your buns. For me, hot cross buns have to be properly sticky on top. In that recipe on my blog, like we spoke about earlier, I used the lemon and orange juice that I already had left over, a little bit of sugar, reduced it to make a tasty, zingy, sticky syrup. The other day I used undiluted marmalade applied straight from the jar to the warm surface of a hot from the oven bun and it was wicked. Have a think about it. Explore the jam aisle in your local supermarket if you're allowed to go out for something sticky and tasty like lemon or lime marmalade and whatever you do do, just keep a little bit aside for tomorrow. If you're keeping buns for the following day, often the stickiness goes away. <laughs> you may like to reheat and reglaze your buns to bring that sticky back and if you don't want it sticky at all, that's okay too. Try egg washing before you bake it for the non-stick golden glaze bake on the top. What? <laughs> and now, here are five other useful videos that might just help you out on your way to amazing hot cross buns at home. And I'll link them underneath too. 
Video number 150, incorporating fruit into bread dough in real time. For when you get to that all important stage and you wanna make sure each bun equally has its fair share of fruit. Video number 149, do you need to soak dry fruit for bread. I always do, but a choice is up to you. Watch this video to discover the pros and cons and make your own decision. If you're new to us here, you might find video number 131 helpful, kneading your bread dough in real time. And following on from that, video number 87 is an oldie, but a goodie, five signs your bread dough is fully kneaded. And finally, I don't know where your head is right now, and to be frank, you'd be forgiven for feeling like you're just not into it this year. Perhaps, to make things a little bit easy for yourself, you might like video number 148. Make it easy for yourself. I know I did, maybe you do too. That's all from me for today. I wish you a very, very happy Easter, and I hope you learned something here. Come and find me on Instagram at Bake with Jack and post out your bakes on Instagram using the hashtag Bake with Jack, and even better than that, visit that hashtag Bake with Jack and see what everybody else has come up with too. Wouldn't that be lovely? Listen, thank you very much for stopping by. I look forward to seeing you very soon for another one. Bye-bye. And there you have it. I hope you learned something today. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly bread making tip. Don't forget, you can sign up for your Home Baker's Bulletin and you'll get all my content in your inbox delivered every single Thursday, absolutely free. Link in descriptions. See ya.